Okay, um, hello everybody, Fanny and back here today with another video, and today we are going to be talking about trade. Now, um, this is one of the main tabs where you get to have a lot of influence on what goes on in the game. Um, so you can go to horse sales, the store, item exchange, black market, and piggy bank. Um, black market is, is not as dark as you think it is. Get your mind out of gutter about that. It's, it's not bad. It's completely safe compared to, compared to the question my friends asked me. They're like, why is there a black market in the game? <laughs> that is tickled me because of how they exactly reacted about it. So, um, I just broke this tab. Um, yes, I'm multi-tab. Again, not a problem. Um, for me anyways, it makes everything easier for how I play the game. Um, you're not really supposed to multi-tab based on, I believe, the rules itself. But it makes everything easier for me to take faster care of my horses and all that. As hopefully I'll be getting a video up soon of how I do them. Or the process I go through to take care of them. Which it would take me a while. Mostly two hours. Sometimes close to a third. Um. Anyways. So the horse sales under the trade. And this is the very middle of the page. So you have this set up. And just this main hot bar, or really not hot bar, I don't, at this point I don't know. I'll call it a hot bar. Um, and you have all these tabs and all that you can go through. So this one's in the dead middle of it. Or not dead middle, it's not even there. Yeah. But this one is in the middle of the list of ones. So this is trade where you can, you can spend money as in equances or you can spend the currency for pass. Um... You can also buy passes with money and all, or find passes in the game itself. Um, anyways, the equuses, they're more common in the game. You spend a lot of a lot of time collecting those. You actually get those fairly often, and they're really important to the game and how you play it. So, um, these are some of the horses that are for sale in, in the sales. You have three sales. You have auctions, which... You bid on them, stuff like that, if you don't know. Um, no, not assaulting y'all's knowledge. Um, and they're timed. So, there's seven bids, um, 1,130 something seconds. Sadly, it doesn't show an actual time, but it really bogged the game, the game down really low. But you can bid on them. So, say this one. Um, pure breed, male, stuff like that. If that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the breed. Um, Lipizzan. You're looking at genetic. Bonuses. Stuff like that. You can actually bid on them. And it'll show the time. But you'll have to constantly refresh and all. Because you, you have to see the best bid. And then you have to make a higher bid. Um, if you're wanting to get out. You can go back to the sales. And preferably. I don't use this method. As I don't. I don't really care for bidding on a horse. Um, it's not an insult to anyone or anything like that. I just don't like it. You can also just click them and put them in a different tab to just check them out. You can give them apples. I believe you can give them apples. I don't know for sure. In the, yeah. Hang on. Seven Megan. Okay. Sometimes you can look for the main ones that are in here. But... I'm going to click on another one real quick. Um, this one's already over. But you can give them an apple while they're, while they're still being bid on. Oh, it's 2001. <laughs> or just while you're waiting or you think the horse is nice or something like that. You can, you can give them that. That's cool. Oh, do I have all the three third breeds? I think I have all the third breeds. I was going to say, if I... Ooh. What are you? Or I, I know what that one is. I'm just a dumb. Okay. They're cool. Or I like, I like the look of them. I don't know. Um, But you can find various breeds. You can see if they're pure breed or not. Uh, the pure breed is usually indicated by a blue star. Which... If you hover your mouse over it, it will say pure breed. Um, it also shows what um, what um, god dang it, specialty. 
what specialty they're in. So this one be classical writing. And it will show a Western hat, actually a good example, and perfect timing for um, if it's Western. Each of them had different competitions, like for Western, it had barrel racing, cutting, um, stuff like that. Whereas classical, it would be dressage, um, show jumping, trot, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, but you can see various breeds and a unicorn is always a pure breed. So if you see the horn, that's a unicorn pure breed right there. No questions, no doubt about it. It will also show you their genetic right here under the achievements tab that's in the middle. It will show what their GP is and how it will turn out to be. And then you had skills tab. The higher the skills, the more, the higher it will be over the GP. So it will raise exponentially. But as long as you blew them correctly, like this one, probably blew to the best of the ability, or almost to that point. Oh, poor Shetland. I kind of want to buy him now, <laughs> but um, you can see the currency right here, price. So this would be um equances. I cannot hover directly on it. Equances right here, and based on the little symbol right here. Whereas the others would be in passive, where it has like a gold symbol and it shows the icon. Now on um, passes, it doesn't mean that you normally can, um, that it's normally good to buy them. I preferably try to buy them in equances if I'm looking for something low. Um, like this, say you want it when it's mainly just went through blooping or something like that or really close to finishing you can go ahead and buy her right there right off the bat without spending passes and all passes play a major part of the game as so does equences um and that ain't bad especially for it being a um i believe a hang on let me let me double check because um a palomino because like, see, it's not high, but they're, I believe they're one of the hardest to get. Usually in horse breeds like the Palomino, they're really difficult to get. Um, Carmelo. Yeah, Palomino, 2%. So that is really, it's really hard to get those. But um, they're really decent to actually spend time with and actually get no them all. But for me, I personally don't like buying if they're already as an adult. Because they can miss, they can miss, um, ah, crap. Hang on. <laughs> y'all have to deal with my shit. Um, I'm trying to take time to go through them quickly, but, um, as much information. Um, this section we will worry about in a moment. I'm going to try to go through the rest of this. You can view them before buying them, or you can just immediately go and just book it to buy them. Um, this section right here where it says items, if you see where it has none, they just had no black market items. Whereas this one, and I'm so glad that some of these are perfect timing. It will show exactly what it is, and if you hover over it, you can see what it's called. And then it has an effect. So this is a Freshian. That's not a coat for the Freshian. That is a coat for the older... um. I, I can't remember how to say the name, but let me see if I could, let me see if I could find the Ankle Tiki, something like that. It's an old coat for it, and that was before the game changed to some of the newer models and all. Um, anyways, besides that, you can, the char characteristics, it would show over top how old they are. And then what the, what their breed is. And again, it would show classical, western, if they're pure breed. If it doesn't have a blue star and it just has these or or it doesn't have anything at all, like this one uh, right here, it is not a pure breed. It is not a pure breed. It is not specializing in classical or western. Or it isn't old enough, whereas this one says a few hours, it is not old enough to even try. And what this symbol right here means that they're pregnant. So, females, usually, that is pregnant. Um, so, show the symbol. 
but if really they're not they're mainly either born as where it says a few hours ago they're not pure breed they're a mix of sorts for me i prefer pure breed not not being anywhere rude or anything about it it just makes my game easier to know what all i have um whereas um draft horses i'm not pure breed on those uh it actually if they're not a pure breed, if they have a mix of um, Drum Horse, Shire, and Perchian, those are three good combinations to have in each of them. Because I could breed a Perchian with those three with any of the other ones that I have. It makes it a lot easier to breed those. But um, other than that, when it shows all these, that's the characteristics, it shows the horse over here. If they're male or female, right here it shows that they're male or female um i'm gonna go down here further because my face cam probably is in the way um it shows the coat color if you say um this one's cherry bay or um say this one is cremello it will show you what it is and then it shows you their name and then their affix the affixes people can use them to track down their own horses or see how they're doing or the fact that um you can show that you own the horse at some point in time or you know something like that um i've been telling my friend hey just keep putting them on there's some of them i'm probably gonna sell back to her because i do want her fix on them but see you can see the fix who created it um creation date you can see when they were created how many horses and then the description so you can see all these beautiful horses, ponies, pegasus, stuff like that. That's the bewitched pumpkin coat. Um, sorry, caught my attention. And you can see each individual horse. And it's always, you cannot change it. If you're not the owner, so say Cookie, I'm, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for using without your permission or anything like that. And I usually am good with asking permission. Um... So, if you're not the owner, you cannot change it. It's on the horse forever once you buy it. Um, whereas, if you buy a horse even without it, you still cannot change the fix. You cannot add one at all. But I don't think that's bad, actually, for a damn um, pure breed of a GP of 7,961. Six years, pure breed, classical riding, and that's a Cremello, because that's a 1% coat. The horse is no longer for sale. <laughs> oh, so yeah, if you look at them, it would tell you as well. This horse is no longer for sale. And this page, I'm going to go ahead and take the time as well. You can go back to the sellers. You can see who the seller is, who the buyer is, which the horse has already been bought, so it right now has the buyer right here. The sale type, what the price is, and then it has buy or for auction it'd be bid. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go back to here. Okay, um, let's see. You can also have these people with weird fonts and all. I'm surprised that it would actually allow them. But let's see. Anyways, you can sell a horse, you can also just look at these and it would tell you more about it um i don't know if my there it is so you can click these and you can see more about it so auction sell with your horse with a minimum price unless other players raise the bid so the more they bid on it the higher it'll go direct sales to sell horse to any player for equal surpasses um you can negotiate like some of these people they negotiate so you can send a message to them um and that should appear right there beside it oh i didn't mean to click the thing but oh well so you can message them to negotiate it, or you can immediately just buy them right off the bat. But see, the seller would be right there. Um. Anyways, to reserve, you can reserve them to a certain player and not have to worry about someone else snagging it as well. So to sell a horse to a specific player for equins or passes. Um. But see, all right here shows their items and all. To the left right here, show their GP, then their skills right now, and then how old, their breed, pure breed, 
specialty, stuff like that. Then their name and affix, if they have an affix. And then gender, and then coat and how they look. Um, but then if you go further, this is the date of when they're selling them. So these have been put up, and there's so many of them. These have been put up not even that long ago. And then to the right, the pass, or not passes, prices. It could be pass or equance. It could be negotiable or not. Um, then you have, to the right, you can just view them. It's a simple layout, but it's also complex at the same time. Now, I had no one that reserved um, sales to me, but you can, it's just reserved to that one player. Don't have to worry about people snagging them or anything. That's a cool code. I like that. But um, you can go to the next page, previous page, just down here. We'll let you look at more horses. But now we are going to talk about this part right here. So it's under buy, buy a horse. You can look at species, riding horse, draft horse, hexes, stuff like that. You can select them. So let's say we are going for a pony. We can select pony. And then it will limit for the breed. It will limit what you're looking for. So let's go with a, um, let's go with this one, Kanamara. Or you can mess with the price. So, of course, you know um, the symbols. If you don't know, then that's a problem. You can select what you look for, like equuses. Let's say there's um, 50,000. It'd be less than 50,000. Um, and then you can mess with skills and genetic potential, as well as age by year or month. Uh, you can also mess with gender, like female, male, or gelding. Gelding, you cannot breed them at all. You can also um, add items, like certain items that you want to. You can add multiple ones. You can even cross them out as in you don't want those or leave them blank just to see what all there is. Unless you're looking for a specific item. You can look for a specific owner. You can see the excellency stars, which usually will pop up. I don't really use them because I never saw a reason. You can use the bloop. And the maximum is 100 for blue, positive 100, and then negative 100 for minimum. You can check if they're pure breed. You can also see what coats are available for that breed and what you're looking for. So say, say flats and liver chestnut. That's usually a common one. Uh, you can search them by what their month of birth is and what year they were born in. Um, you can also check if they're pregnant or in full number of coverings. Um, wait, that they actually added that? Wait, they actually, I said something about that, um, number of coverings. I was actually talking to someone about that. So they did add it. Unless I'm really dumb, but they did add it. Well, that's cool. Um, you can also check if you want to fix or not. My options only, that way you just see them. Like that's just on your own, you can see them. So you can click that and that will get rid of all the other horses you see, but the ones you sell. Um, you can check specialty, classical, or western. You can look for certain skills, like stamina, speed, dressage, gallop, trot, and jumping. Achievements, as in victories, rosettes, or grand prix awards. Other items, basically, are the black market items. Some of these are customization, which is the bewitch pumpkin. So Apocalypse, Magic Cat, Double Sided Medallion, Book of Monsters, uh, Katrina Brooch, Wanderer's Spirit, Diamond Apple, Vintage Apple, and Iris's Coat. Um, most of those are actually like this um, customization, just as Golden Apple and the and the Harmony Pack, because that includes the Golden Apple. Um, this one just guarantees that you get a unicorn full. This one, you have two strokes, so therefore you get 22 energy from stroking the horse twice. Um, you can also see they have um, bonuses. Um, reminder, horseshoe studs cannot be sold in a store. Um, I, you cannot make them. You can get them only from events. Or I believe only from the events, actually. Um, you can also see if they have saddles. 
bridle, stuff like that. So equipment or attack it says, and you can just search. So you just click this little search right down here and it should search for you and refresh just the whole page. Sorry if my voice is kind of, but see, there's no, there's none of as for sale for that price or anything. So, um, let's say I want a, and again, you can look through all of this. So I'm going to say no matter, and then go through and I'm going to go for one that I want. I want a black coat and I'm just going to put a zero and see how that goes. Cause I'm only going to buy it for equances, but they're really, they're really expensive most of the time. Um, what else did I check? I feel like I have something else checked and I'm just not that smart. Because usually I can, I can immediately check to see what it is. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't know what else I had. Oh yeah, I did. Um, it's just an info. But you can also see if they're unicorns and all, but this one right here, they're really high, and I'm not, I'm not really risking it. Um, anyways. So, this one is just one of the ones I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for over 300,000, that's for sure. I was looking for one like 100,000 or 50,000, stuff like that. Something really low, but I can breed them to get one. Um, other than that, we can continue on to the... I cannot do reserve sales because no one's reserved a horse to me, so I can't really do anything about that. But you can accept or um, turn down the offer of buying that horse. So anyways, that's all for that one. We're gonna go to the store. Um, you can sell items, that's immediately right off the bat what I can do. But I'm not selling anything. Ow, my foot. I stood on a major thorn because it was in my boot. Um, anyways, it will also say this. Sell an item. The store will buy back everything that you no longer use for 50% of its value. So, say that the alfalfa seeds cost 20. They do. It would be half of that that you sell back. Um, so, if you want to sell something, you click this button. You can select a number. You cannot type in a number. I remember you could type in a number, I believe. But... They can't. You can sell all. It's at the very bottom. You can sell all. And it shows you what you gain from it. Or if you sell just one. So say you want to sell two. You have to. Hang on. So say you want to say, um, sell 201. You have to sell 200 first and then go back in and select the one. I believe um, you used to, you could just type it in of how much you want it to sell. And then you click sell to um, sell the thing. So, um, other than that, how many? Okay, I only have one of those. Okay. And then you could press return to the store to return to the store's page to where you first were welcomed. Now you have food, tech, resources, agriculture, and um, enhancements. On this side, you will see tabs of what you own, and usually it opens based on what you click. So say you click tech, um, if, if it'll work. Hang on, let me see something else. Okay. Okay, it ain't gonna work, apparently. Um, I will go down in a moment. I'm just turning that so that way I can. Or usually it does, but. You click, so yeah. It minimizes the food tab and it opens this along with showing what all benefits it has. So bonus, one plus in each skill, bridles, saddles, saddle blankets, polo wraps, ear bonnets, and then bonuses. 
Um, for saddle blankets, polo wraps, and air bonnets, they usually just sell the one star ones. Um, for here, they sell one through three star for classical and western stuff. The classical stuff is usually the first three. So, one star classical, two, three, and then it goes to western. And then it shows you the price. So, um, the first... The difference is with the prices itself. So th this one, the fir the one star classical would be the one star western as price wise, but the second one it'd be higher, and so would the third one. There's differences. Oh, six six six. We got a demon. Um. Anyways, um. To carry carry on from that, um. It will show how many's in stock, what their prices are, um what all bonuses it has and then what they are along with how they look and then you click this and you can select how many you want to buy so say 50 say you want to buy 50 of those and then you just click buy but I'm not buying those um, I have my own stuff you can also select over here what all you want to show or not and usually it automatically opens whatever you click on based on those tabs. Which is useful. Um, usually the um, raw materials and resources over here are usually infinite. Um, where's your clock? Oh, no, it's probably for watching Una's Honest too much. Um, but most of these are infinite. It shows you the price. It's surprising that all, all four of these are exactly the same price. I like that. But, um, straw and flax, they're 30 equals this difference. And weight brand. Or brand, or whatever it's called. But you can, again, you buy them, and it'll contribute to here. Um, agriculture, seeds and all. Um, Anyways, hang on. I'm going to go back to resources real quick to give a little bit of a better explanation. So, um, wood, iron, and sand are usual materials that you can use to repair things or build new things. Um, like boxes. You can build two-star boxes, three-star boxes. Um, but you can also use leather to build bonuses such as um, lunges, whips, um, spurs you need metal. Or, not metal, iron. I say metal. Um, the bell boots, you need leather. This is for bedding to put in the boxes. That way, you don't have to worry about cleaning the poop up off the... Like, if, if you actually own a horse or know more about the horse, about how, like, where they stay and all, their stables and all that, then you'll understand for sure of where that is. But, um, wait, Brian, I don't really use this. I have a lot of it, and I don't really use it, do I? I'm going to try this out real quick, just so I make sure. Uh, resources. Mandatory ingredient and mashes, yeah. Um, I haven't made any mashes recently, so that's why it's piling up. Um, agriculture is mostly, like, seeds and all, but you can buy tractors and, um, have feed, feed trials in the um, enhancements and all but those would add on to like to pastures those two will add on to pastures the bosses will be hoses and the um water trowel um anyways the price for each of these seeds all different except the wheat and oak they're actually the same um but they're all different they all have a different ability um, there, this one's usually always sold out. They're doing an event right now of, that was a very inappropriate ad. Um, anyways, I can't get rid of that. That, that's shit. That's bullshit. Um, that's actually taking me off. Um, so please excuse my language for that moment in time, but I, I don't feel like seeing a woman in a bra while I'm playing this game. No thanks. Um, anyways. You have fertilizers, it will shorten the amount of time that, that is used when you're planting these, usually in the greenhouses, um, where that's when I usually use them. 
And then enhancements will be, hang on, will be for like boxes, meadows. Um, I can't really give you much of a description based off of them, but they just, they help out a little bit for some reason. Let me just see. I believe it's something with the, um, I want to say prestige, but it's not really. Yeah. A horse boarded in the in a box where there is a water trial installed will receive four times more moral and energy and water. So it gives you um bonuses for the um the horse that is there. Or energy. Free trial would give you energy um based on the horse in that box like mm, border in that equestrian center. I couldn't find my words. Um and that you can also see the black market items here or events items too so like level two faults level three faults you can see the event stuff too um i don't have that much stuff but then again i don't know i need a crone this time because there's one horse i want to bloop and i want to use quite a bit of stuff on them um anyways so i'm gonna go to the item exchange um after the black market because i want to cover some stuff the black market, you can customize your horses and all. And I'm pretty sure I went over this a little bit, at least. Touched on it. And each of the sections are based on what you're aiming for. If you're aiming to get, say, um, this Dubai. You have to buy a Titan's Challenge and try your luck with them. Um, or you're going with Boris, so you try the one in plenty of stuff. So this is luck, category basis. I don't care about it. I really don't. It's useless to my gameplay. But, um, I don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. Do not waste your passes on aging points. You will earn aging points. You just got to save them. Especially if you're first beginning in the game, save your aging points. Because if you use them all, you're kind of going to be stuck. And you're going to have to wait the entire time. Unless you're really eager for something to where you're going to have to use passes to buy the aging points. Um, you'll earn the aging points really quick. This is just for me saving. Uh... 1,237, that's just pretty much how it is for mine right there. Now, the metamorphosis arms are really good. You can save a ton of aging points off of, um, of using one of these. So, you can save a lot of them, but you can still earn more the more you, when you use these. You can use this up until the age of 30 for the horse, and then it will not work anymore. The Water of Youth will age the horse one month at a time. So instead of two months, like uh, 19 and two months, it would be 19 and three months, 19 and four months, 19 and five. It would go one at a time. So therefore, you have, you're spending twice as long with a horse instead of just going full out. On the piece of cloud, makes your horse four months younger and finds two aging points. I don't really use this, but... um. Anytime I have it, I just want to see if I can get to a 20 or something like that. Or if someone needs that more than me, if they give them something better in return for the um, item exchange, I will accept it. And usually I can get something better, but not always. My throat has been sore the entire week, so I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> On the Cronus Timer, we'll train your horse twice as fast. Um, in all the categories, training, riding, and the, um, competitions. The Philosopher's Stones, I stress about this a lot because I always need them. Um, it makes your horse immortal. You can have them until, like, 70 years old, 203 years old, stuff like that. And it's just amazing. And the game luckily puts it on your first two horses without you having to actually buy them. On the next pack includes the Philosopher Stone, the Cronus um, Timer. Um, let's see what else it includes. It includes the Nixus Star and the Metamorphosis Arms. I love this. I really do. So it talks about the Metamorphosis Arms and all. Oh, it goes directly to the page. Um, but the Nix Star is um, included in this. You cannot buy this or anything. So I'll. Offers you the star, which means you get a horse up at 6 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. So, therefore, um, take care of it more during the day. It's really useful and helpful. 
on uh, philosopher's um stroke about said philosophers i think i did i cannot say his the um p stroke um still still a bad choice of words um it, it can let you stroke your horse two times a day for more energy and all um a harris pack you this is for breeding it includes it includes the fertility one um hair is lily that means you get to pick the coat sadly you can't pick the gender but you can pick the coat um it includes the fertility ones to give birth to twins aphrodite's tears to increase inborn full skills by 50 percent artemisia's arrows to accelerate your mare's digestion or gestation um period um which is four months so you just have to waste or not waste um, you have to use three aging points, I believe. It's better than using six. So, it basically half how many you use. Unless you're using a, um, water youth on them. And this is a customization, um, category down here. The uh, Harmony Pack, I have one in my inventory. It includes the Golden Apple, um, Unlimited, um, Heliosis Ray, um, Apollo's Liar, and I want to say that's it. Yeah, that's basically it. So, you can change your horse's landscape as often as you want for free with the Unlimited Heliosis Ray. That comes exclusively with this. Um, the Golden Apples, 100 passes and all. Um, to be honest, is not is not a bad deal um, for this because for the harmony pack because it actually saves you a li quite a few passes, but I don't prefer to buy that. I just got that from an event, um, uh, and I hadn't covered the rest of the. The Susan's lightning bolt can change your change your horse's gender, but I personally never used it, um, and that's in the reproduction you can also castrate your horses um i'm not gonna go into detail about that um it can give them a bonus though anyways customization the vintage apple is the older coats of the game i have one my inventory i've been using them because i've been wanting to collect my stuff um helios is ready that's normal you just get to choose from the player's creations or O's, uh, Helios is Ray. Choose a landscape for your horses from the game's most beautiful backgrounds. It could be event backgrounds as well, I believe. Um, the water element, you cannot buy this. You cannot buy the fire element or, or the um, wind element or anything. You get these from the events as well. Or you can get them from the vines. Just like some of these um, or many of these items you can get from the vines. But lately, the device that's been out, not worth it. Um, the Medusa's blood turns your horse to a Pegasus, simple as that, your horse will have wings. The Apollo's Lawyer will change your horse's name, uh, so you can customize it, you can put symbols in it, you can change color, um, you cannot really change size, you can change if it's bold, underlined, um, I want to say marked out, but I don't think so. Um, you can change color, you can change fonts. You can do that, or you can make it italic as well. Um, it was to me. I don't. I don't really use them. How many do I have? I have six of them, and I don't use them. I had eleven. I think I did end up using some of those because I just got bored. Um, anyways, bonus. So you got a Poseidon's pack that is six in each skill for each tack. So ear bonnet, um, bridle, saddle, saddle blanket. Polo wraps. I feel like I'm missing one. Hang on. <laughs> I'm a dumb sometimes. Um, ear bonnet, bridle, saddle, um, saddle, um, blanket, and then polo wraps. So that's five. So that's, I want to say 30 to 36 stars. One of those two. Um, that you can get for each skill. It's beneficial for that. On uh, the bonus pack gives you all the existing bonuses. Keep in mind that you do not get the um you do not get the horseshoe studs out of this. You have to actually get the horseshoe studs from the events. And I believe you can get some from the divines, actually. I don't know for sure. Um Black Orchard. 
Restores your horse's energy, health, and moral to 100%. And I use it if I really need it. Like, if my horse is at... Let's say, um, zero, um, energy. That will... That could probably kill a horse. So, you can use that. The Pandora's box, you can resurrect one of your dead horses. Um, as long as the horse did not die from old age. The parchment will produce equals instead of droppings so it changes poop into money um achilles heel or achilles um sometimes i say it both ways fetch a horse without energy or time restrictions but i still follow through with time restrictions or energy um the cronus the cronus fortune doubles your horse's chance to find items you cannot buy it as well. This one I got from a recent event. This is a companion. Um, you had to get it from an event. You can get some of the companions from Divine, so I know that for sure. Um, the high nest blanket, you could buy this for 20 passes, but I wouldn't. Um, you can get them from Frost. You can get them from events. Uh, Frost is Divine that you can defrost every day to have a chance to get one of those. Um, whereas you can get some of these... You can get a lot of these from Divines, but like I said, I'm not all into collecting them because most of the ones that's been out, I have not be, been able to get because either A, I don't have enough passes, or B, they're not worth it. And I don't sell my horses, so I don't really make any profit from them like that. But that's just personally how it is with me. So anyways, um, I briefly covered over the um, stuff. I can go over more of the items if you want. There's a specific one. Um, again, I don't know if I'm actually being helpful or not. But you can look at the description and all. You can even try this stuff out yourself. So this is the item exchange. You can exchange three items a week. You can offer gifts and all. And this is a fun part, okay? So um, it, it shows you the player. And you can click on them and all that. Go to their pages and all. Um, on the left, it shows what they're offering. Don't get this mixed up because it can screw you really badly. Um, so it shows like two Heliosis, right? And then what they're looking for. So you're giving them a golden fleece for two Heliosis, right? I, I don't think that's worth it at all. Just like the Hornet Plenty for two highness blanket. No. So you can look. You can look through these individually. Go through the tabs and all. You can even make trades for equances too. So um. Oh that's terrible. Some of these I'm really judgmental about. Because I want to make the best choice possible for my game. And that's just shit. But um, up here you can find items. So say that you're offering. So this is what you're giving away. So say um, a harmony pack. And then whatever you're looking for. You can click over here. And then say confirm. I'm going to put my mouse all the way to the right. For right now. Because I don't want to accidentally click anything. And it will give you the options of. What all is there. Like what's the options and all. I only have one of these, so it's only going to say I can accept it, but I'm not. As well as there's an actual time limit for how long you can have these out. I believe you can only have these out for three days, and then the time will go down. So it's four hours for them. But that's not worth it. This one might be anywhere close, anywhere close to worth. It might be. Um, this one I will like as a better trade as it's just two for one those that way if you have a third one you can keep it still customize your horse and you can make them immortal and all that um but some of these like how they have them i don't like so um anyways that's just basically what it is you don't even get to select the numbers it'd be useful to select the numbers just so you get the immediate results but i just don't um mess with all the stuff like, see, I'm looking for the Cronus timer. So, say, um, I'm looking for the Cronus. Uh, what would they want in return? 
and you can look for it. So, um, anyways, on that you can even manage exchanges. Um, you could make a public public trade. You can offer or say what you're looking for, and then make offers. You could say seven hundred thousand equals or stuff like that. Um, you could also offer multiple ones up to two. Um, unless I want to say unless you have three, but I don't know. Up to two or something. Next, I don't know. Let me go to. Yeah, you can do two. Or you could do offer in exchange for another player. It's still gonna be two. And then what it is, you can reserve it for. Is to say my name or something. You can reserve it for that. Um, but I'm playing on my account, so you cannot reserve things for yourself. Um, or you can offer a gift. You can just give that to someone and then create. And then it'll show your history as well, what offers you have. And then it says, um, like, how many you'll have left. So, like, still make three. That's how many you usually get. Um, unless you're a VIP or something, you can get higher amount of exchanges. Um, so if I went ahead and exchanged with someone now, I would have two. You can still make two of them left. Um, that would just gradually go down until you reach zero, and then at which point you will not be able to exchange anymore. But on um, the very last thing is piggy bank. I don't mess with this as I don't really have any care for. Ooh, I do have care for that though. Do have care for that. Um, but this is fill up your piggy bank through horse sales to unlock some promotional offers. Um, so it says current, and then it's like nine hundred eighty. 1,762 out of 1,131,317. And then the next pick bank will show you the offers. This one, I like the metamorphosis arms. I like that better than the, um, that. But I want the crawl this time. That's my main focus, so I need to stop. But that, I mean, it just, it just shows you what all you can get and all. And this is what currently is. I want to say it's with other players. That's what I want to say. It's with other players. But I, I don't know. Because I don't spend that many passes or anything. So. Now, um. And that, that's just mainly this tab. If you want me to go through over something again, I will. I'm not the best at explaining this. Um. But really the game kind of leads you into a field of you don't know what to do kind of thing. Or people buy accounts without explanation or stuff like that. Um, so I can continue doing these tabs, but some of them will take longer than others, such as this one and this one. This one itself takes long because of how many items there are and you have to go through individual ones to see what pops out most about. Um, really for the rest of my remainder, I'm probably going to be taking care of horses. Um, and that, probably nothing else. So, anyways. I've only took care of, um, 11 horses right now. On this. And I'm probably going to continue later. And there's so many I still got to get, get to. So, um, I'll see, I'll see y'all later for now. Um, I hope in this, in some way this helped you. And I'm glad for those of you who have reached out to me about how much it has helped you or how it at least explains some of the stuff. Um, but if there's still questions, I will answer them. I have DMs open, other social medias. Um, I post a little bit on Instagram about the game. I don't really use Twitter, but I'll still reach out to you. Um, other than that, there's not more I can really say about the game right now for what I just went over. But um, be careful as there are scams out there and trades, you got to be really cautious. You got to feel like, okay, this is good trade and all. So, um, all this is really interesting to me. Um, especially how it's set up and all. And this game came out in 2007 based on what it had for the year wise and all. I'm really interested in... I would love to make a game very similar to it, 
but I would just love to check this out first, really more than anything else. Um, anyways. I want to go ahead, oh my god, it has straight up sixes, six, 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 six. Not, that's not good. It's not good at all. Um, I'm going to say that's kind of a lie. Um, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, I'm probably going to stop talking, as y'all probably tired of hearing me talk. Um, and I don't need to share my voice, and I kind of am. I'm sorry I didn't upload last weekend, and I'm sorry that I'm being late this weekend, but I'm having to do personal things, and I'll probably try to be on time the best I can um, for next weekend and all. So, um, thank you all so much for watching and taking the time to watch these. I'm sorry that they're really long. I will answer any um, questions about this if you have any. Uh, feel free to reach out personally to me on here, as that's my user. Um, if you want to know that it's truly me, I have done this. I'm not doing this as to grab attention or anything. I'm doing this in hopes that it might help you out. Um, anyways, in my presentation, it should have a wolf background right here. And not, it doesn't take up the whole page, but it should have a wolf. And then, if you look under my game, I had the channel link. And it should, and it says you leave an email, leave your account password. But I'm going to open this in a different tab. So, if you click on the link and you actually see that leads to my channel or if you recognize the link at all. Um, basically, it will show that that's my channel and I have owned this account too. So, I'm not going to lie about the fact that I have an account or anything. I'm not going to hide from it or stuff like that. Something's wrong with YouTube or the Wi-Fi, one or the other. Um, anyways, but if you really want to know for sure that it's me, um, there it is, right in there, and I also say I'm a returning player of this game as well as I run a small YouTube channel for fun. I set random friend requests, and my main focus right now is on Sully Frenchess. I will change my focus as soon as I want to explore all the breeds. Anyways, if you are curious on my YouTube channel, I'll post a link to copy and paste, hopefully, and then I put my channel link there. Um, I'm not gonna do anything else, and if you just want more information, if you want to know that if this isn't co-manager or anything, I can edit this. Um, co-managers cannot edit, so say I just throw in all that. I wouldn't be able to edit, basically. But, and that, I mean, pretty much so. And... Also, feel free to leave a congratulations. I try to return them back. Or if you just run the game and you're like, hey, I kind of noticed. If you leave a congratulations and I don't get back to you, tell me. Because I do, I do like to get back to as many people as I can. Because I don't feel like I deserve these congratulations. But I do like to give them in return. Um, anyways, my time is kind of being preoccupied, so I'm not going to be able to take care of all the horses that I want to. So I'll probably let my rank continue to drop, just so I can get kind of a uh, feel for what all I need to do next. But I don't know for sure. I kind of want to just get to rank 1,000 and then end it there, because I don't really... I'm not going to end the account entirely there, but I'm just going to um, end off the, the wheel to actually get better at the game like that. I'll just continue doing my own stuff. Um, anyways. If you want to, um, check out the horses, you can. Um, I do, I did leave a few links for the ones I've worked on, or I used to, um, leave links. Um, if you want to see the ones I've worked on, just mainly go to Champion Fighters or Thunderhooves, and you'll see what all I've worked on with them. Um, if you want to check out the all f the the babies I have, if there's one in particular you might want or something, I can give them to you. Some of these are not babies, but like I said, I changed it to the all fools slash bloop incoming tab. That's why I changed it to. If there's one in particular that you're interested in, I will see if I can make an offer with you or something. And it would depend mainly on the potential, the GP, or the um. 
what kind of tag or a fix if it has, if it has a retired parent or what, because I do like to collect some of the retired horses or retired breeder breeder horses. It just interests me. Um, anyways, that's all I have for now. I'm sorry for rambling on, and I really hope you all have an amazing day. Um, feel free to reach out to me, and I really hope this helped. So, without further ado, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you have an amazing day. Bye!